Oh my god, it's way better than I expected. Haikyuu is one of those well-known anime that I thought I'd never watch because I'm not really into volleyball. The only time I got interested is when it's women's beach volleyball and I literally just learned the rules and positions as I watched this anime. My female friends just won't shut up about this anime and they kept recommending this to me but the fandom's excessive shipping is not convincing me to do so. But after stumbling upon this fire ass opening several times, I decided to finally watch the anime and I was disappointed. But the reason I was disappointed is because I'm a f***ing idiot. I was expecting a crap ton of ridiculous maneuvers, power-ups, and visual metaphors, but all I saw in the earlier episodes are a few cool moves but with a lot of dialogues and comedic parts that I thought were unnecessary. And I start to question myself on how they are so hype on an anime like this, and it turns out that I'm watching it the wrong way. Because yes, there are a lot of badass moments in this anime, but the best part of Haikyuu is the character development. And after realizing this, it took me one scene, one moment, and before I knew it, I was hooked. So Haikyuu is about Hinata Shoyo and Tobio Kageyama joining the Karasuno volleyball team, striving to become the best volleyball player in Japan. And that's it. No, whatever the fuck this is. But the scenes where it's just them doing goofy or normal things as a volleyball club that I thought were unnecessary, they're basically a setup of the dynamic between the members. Although I thought the comedy were poorly placed, especially during a game in the earlier episodes, but it got better and funnier later on. And it's been a while since I continuously laugh hard because of an anime. The comedy will obviously show the softer side of the character. Characters. For example, I initially thought that Kageyama would be this silent type character but nope. He's a f***ing idiot as well. With that said, the anime didn't just have the typical team friendship I usually see in sports anime. There was tension between the members as well, from rivalries to actual dislike to a member. And Haikyuu will show why they act this way, which will lead to character development that got me hooked to this anime in the first place. And you know a sports anime is good if the bench warmers are as compelling as the main players. Although their character progressions are not something that will make an Evangelion fan have a boner, it's just something an ordinary person could experience, thus making it more relatable and easier to invest in. Like feeling the downside of being a genius, not being good enough, losing your passion, or being cynical because of being afraid of getting hurt by failure. Oh and they also do this to the other teams as well which makes it harder to see them lose. The volleyball court is not only a battlefield between two teams, but it is also a battlefield for a battle that is inside them. Whenever they are playing, it's not only a culmination of their training as a team, but this is also where they settle their inner struggles that have been building up to this moment. So yes, it's just a spike, it's just a receive, it's just a block, although it's a block to a top spiker so I shouldn't really underestimate it, but with context on what they're going through, it hits harder than this spike right here, making the actual games more compelling than what it's supposed to be, because I keep forgetting getting that half of the time, it's just a practice game that no one will give a shit about. Haikyuu may slightly focus more on character development, but the games themselves are not slacking either, like the awesome animations and camera angles. Although I know that there are some who dislike the new art style and animation of season 4, and yes, it kinda bugged me out at first, but when you're so invested in the series, I just don't give a f at this point. But what's funny when it comes to the art style, I noticed that the boys look worse in the new art style but the women look prettier but maybe it's just me. When it comes to realism, I usually prefer my sports anime to be unrealistic because of how badass and ridiculous it is, and also because I don't play any sports, if me having an anime YouTube channel doesn't make it more obvious to you. But I dig the realistic matches in this anime. The visual metaphors are not that exaggerated because unlike other sports anime where they entirely use it to enhance the game's intensity, Haikyuu uses visual metaphors only to describe the game's situation to keep the realism intact. And I know there will be someone who will say, um, actually, it's not that realistic. I mean, duh, it's f***ing anime. When I mean by realistic, it's not only Haikyuu just being pure volleyball, but realistic in a sense that you can actually imagine this in an actual volleyball game. For example, I like how they emphasize the importance of crowd participation in season 4, and I think it should be included more in sports anime, because in real life, the crowd can affect the players to some degree for the better or worse. Okay, I'll shut up now. Also, despite there being players who will stand out, Haikyuu did a good job showcasing the other members' abilities and how one member affected the team when one of them was out. One more thing that I love is that the players will always miss at one point. And I mean all of them no matter how good they are, due to fatigue, pressure, or just being plain unlucky. Or stupid. But realistic doesn't really mean it's boring. Who needs power-ups and visual metaphors when the matches are this intense? And the one thing I love the most about the games itself is how they build up intensity and hype. 
Haikyuu knows when to use the slow motion bullshit that we often see in sports anime. By using it only in crucial moments like in moments of uncertainty, a powerful attack, important narrations and monologues, or the aftermath just to let the viewers digest on what the f has just happened. With the addition of very hype soundtracks that even some of them have the same musical structure to My Hero Academia's Yusei Run. And you know how this song can make a fighting scene a hundred times more epic. And the same can be said in Haikyuu. I can watch this scene for several times and I still get the chills. The music can really amplify the intensity of the game, but it can also take the same intensity all away by using a setter's dump. I love it whenever dumps happen in the middle of the game because it's unintentionally funny. It's like when YouTubers stop the music to amplify the joke that is being told, just like what I'm doing right now. And it fits the nature of a setter's dump. A dump is basically a mockery of the concentration of your opponents or your teammates. What makes Haikyuu special in my opinion is the realism and simplicity. They're just dudes who play volleyball. In fact, there are no actual antagonists as far as I know. Yes, they're opponents, but all in all, Haikyuu just told a story about various people who just loves volleyball way too much. And I think this is what this anime is all about. Well, of course they want to be the best, but Haikyuu is all about falling in love with volleyball, whether you're playing the sport or watching the sport. From Hinata smiling, even in their most dire parts of the game, or from guys like Sugawara, who, let's be honest, will never go further as a volleyball player and should probably start thinking about their future. Sukishima is actually right, it's just a club. Yet they're still there, giving their all no matter what. And I think you cannot do that without loving the sport even for a bit. So does this make me appreciate volleyball more as a sport? Yes. Do I hope there will be a season 5? Of course. Will I be watching this clip for a lot of times? Definitely. Will I be joining the fandom shipping Hinata and Kage? No. But I'm glad I finally gave this anime a chance cause it's been a while since I've enjoyed a long running series with its perfect blend of character drama and high intensity matches. And if I'll choose my top 3 characters, it's Tsukishima, Nishinoya, and Oikawa. But let me know what's your favorite Haikyuu characters in the comments below so we can nerd out. Also don't forget to spike that like button, that was a terrible call to action, I am out.